Uncover the silent killer lurking in your ovaries. Ovarian cancer, a disease that forms cancer cells in the tissues of your almond-shaped organs, is often disguised in its early stages. But don't be fooled by its stealth, as it can spread rapidly. Your ovaries, responsible for producing the eggs and hormones that control your menstrual cycle. Fertility and pregnancy, hold the key to early detection. Keep an eye out for abnormal growths in the cell lining, as they may be a warning sign of cancerous cells. Knowledge is power, protect your health and discover the ovarian cancer symptoms, every woman must know. Before continuing, it's important to acknowledge that the information provided in this video is impartial, verified by experts and verified by healthcare professionals. Now that we've established that, let's dive into discussing the nine frequently observed symptoms of ovarian cancer. Around 6% of women will develop ovarian cancer during their lifetime, with 1 in 78 women being affected. It is more prevalent in older women and those who have not been pregnant or given birth. In 2021, 22,000 new cases of ovarian cancer were reported, with 14,000 resulting in death. Ovarian cancer accounts for 2% of all cancers in women in the U.S. With early detection and treatment, many cases of ovarian cancer can be cured. However, there are often no symptoms until it's too late for treatment. The five-year survival rate is approximately 35% and depends on factors such as the stage of the disease at diagnosis, overall health, and treatment method. The risk of ovarian cancer increases with age, especially over 62, and a family history of the disease. If a close relative has had it, your risk is higher and if two or more have had it, the risk is even greater. There are three types of ovarian cancer, with epithelial being the most common accounting for 90% of cases. Germ cell ovarian cancer, which begins before birth or very soon after, is less common but can be found in children and adolescents, accounting for 8% of all ovarian cancers. The rarest type, stromal ovarian cancer, is mostly found in late adolescents and young adults, accounting for only 2% of all cases. Although early symptoms of ovarian cancer can be difficult to identify due to the advanced stage at which it is often diagnosed, some common symptoms in early cases include Number 1. Fatigue Fatigue is a symptom of ovarian cancer. Fatigue frequently comes on gradually and may be accompanied by other ovarian cancer symptoms, similar to the loss of appetite, bloating, and indigestion. The symptoms of ovarian cancer are vague and not specific enough to bring about an opinion. Numerous women attribute their symptoms to stress or aging, and as a result, stay too long before seeking treatment for ovarian cancer. Number 2. Difficulty eating Numerous women, especially those who are busy or stressed out, frequently witness nausea and a worried stomach. While occasional difficulty eating is nothing to worry about, it can be a sign of ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is frequently an insidious complaint as it may not beget any difficulty eating until it has spread to other organs. In its early stages, ovarian cancer doesn't generally present with such a symptom. Number 3. Constipation Constipation is a common symptom of ovarian cancer. This occurs when stool in the colon becomes hard and dry due to a lack of water and fiber. This may be due to the tumor putting pressure on the colon or rectum, or the tumor may beget the muscles in your bowel to contract, making it delicate for stool to pass through. Stool changes related to ovarian cancer include having smaller bowel movements than usual. Feeling bloated or full after eating, straining when trying to have a bowel movement, and having smaller normal bowel movements than usual. Number 4. Frequent Bloating Frequent bloating is one of the most common signs of ovarian cancer. A feeling of bloating on a regular base, accompanied by pain in the lower tummy, which is frequently incorrect for menstrual cramps, may indicate ovarian cancer. Some women may also witness constipation or diarrhea. However, it's important to see your doctor to rule out ovarian cancer as soon as possible, 
if you're passing bloating that is accompanied by pain or other unusual symptoms. Number 5. Lower Back Pain Lower back pain is frequently one of the first signs of ovarian cancer. Pain in the lower back or pelvis, which may be worse after ages or bowel movements can be patient or come and go. Pain in the pelvis or tummy generally spreads to the groin area. It may be constant or come and go, but it may feel like a dull ache rather than sharp pain. It may worsen with exertion, similar to coughing, sneezing or lifting heavy objects. Number 6. Pain or discomfort in the tummy or pelvis. Pain or discomfort in the tummy or pelvis is another common symptom of ovarian cancer. Cancer generally doesn't beget any pain in these areas until it has developed advanced stages. The position of pain can vary extensively, and numerous people with ovarian cancer do not indeed realize they've it until they are diagnosed at stage 3 or 4. This is why regular screening tests are important as they detect the complaint before symptoms appear. Number 7. Quickly feeling full when eating is a symptom of ovarian cancer. Numerous women feel full after a meal and cannot eat further than half of what they generally would. Some feel sick if they eat too important, and they may also have diarrhea, nausea, and puking after eating. Feeling full quickly or bloated for no reason are common signs of an enlarged stomach caused by fluid buildup. From an ovarian cyst or tumor pressing on ear organs or other structures in the tummy. Number 8. A frequent, critical need to urinate. The most common symptom of ovarian cancer is a frequent, critical need to urinate. This can be caused by an enlarged pelvic tumor pressing on the bladder or ureter which is the tube that connects the feathers and bladder. While at most women don't witness frequent urination before being diagnosed with ovarian cancer, it's still important for women to pay attention to these symptoms as well as other changes in bowel habits. Number 9. A change in the menstrual cycle. The symptoms of ovarian cancer vary from woman to woman, and some women do not have any symptoms at all. Numerous doctors recommend women get screened for ovarian cancer starting at age 35, but it's important to know what symptoms you should be looking for. A change in the menstrual cycle is one sign of ovarian cancer that numerous women do not give a lot of attention to. It's common to have an irregular period cycle while approaching menopause, but it's also safe to talk to a doctor when this happens. Diagnosing ovarian cancer the first step in diagnosing ovarian cancer is an abdominal ultrasound. The doctor uses an inquiry that emits sound waves to produce images of the inside of your tummy. The doctor will also do a pelvic test and conceivably a CT checkup. The CT checkup can be used to look for tumors in the ovaries and other organs hard, including the colon, bladder, and rectum. However, they may be recommending an MRI or pet checkup, if the doctor suspects cancer. A biopsy is when towel samples are taken from suspicious areas in your body and examined under a microscope by a pathologist. Treatment for ovarian cancer. Treatment options vary depending on the stage and type of a woman's ovarian cancer. Surgery is frequently used to treat early stage cancers. For advanced stages, chemotherapy and hormonal remedy are used along with surgery. Surgery to remove an ovarian tumor is called a hysterectomy. Depending on the position and size of the tumor, your croaker may perform a laparoscopic or robotic approach to removing your ovaries. During a laparotomy, your surgeon makes a long gash in your tummy, generally horizontally, which allows them to access the organs inside your tummy and remove any tumors set up there. However, similar to the lymph bumps, this procedure may be used to surgically remove those areas as well. If you have cancer that has spread beyond the ovaries into other corridors of your body, but if all evidence of cancer has been removed, there is no need for further treatment. Chemotherapy may be used to shrink a tumor before surgery or it may be used after surgery to kill any remaining cancer cells. It's also given after surgery to help lower the threat of ovarian cancer coming back. 
Chemotherapy can be used alone or with other treatments for ovarian cancer. It's frequently used with radiation remedies to treat ovarian cancer that has spread to other body parts. The five-time survival rate for women with early-stage ovarian cancer is 92%. For women with advanced-stage complaints, the five-time survival rate is about 17%. Hopefully, reproductive cancers like ovarian cancer will be much lower in trouble in the future. Until that day comes, there are ways you can take to improve your chances for early discovery. The before it's detected, the better your odds are of beating the complaint. So, no hesitate to ask questions about symptoms or pitfalls when visiting your doctor. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for further informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our business. Thank you.